Okay, back. This is the Mally Primer. I'm not sure if the name is showing up. I love this. I've tried quite a number of primers now, and they're all okay. Some are better than others. I love this one. Uh, I really do. It is, again, very, very cushiony. There's not all that much product in there, but it takes so very little, and it is, it just feels wonderful on the skin. It feels almost like a skin treatment. I really love the feel of it. This, let me just show you this. I'm going to come in really close. I have very, very large pores right in here on both sides. And this really is so good on my pores. I don't know if it translates on the screen the way it does again in reality, but I feel as if my skin looks absolutely flawless. And by the way, once again, when I come in really close, take a look at this sucker. That whole deep indentation that I had before, it's not there. It's just not there. This one's coming up. It's almost all the way up. This one, there's no indentation. Any, I'm very, very slight. This side still, it's taking longer, but my God, I'm very impressed. So um, that again, <clears throat> can't swear to it being the B vitamins, but son of a gun, since I'm taking them, it's really been absolutely terrific. Today, the makeup that I use, my foundation, is again the, the uh, Marinesse, the Velvet Maxi Lift. I love the Mir all the Marinesse foundations that I've tried so far. They go on at, like liquid and they take very, very little. The coverage is really great. And it says here, it is a maximum cover for skin ready to lift and conceal the look of lines and open pores. And I'm really very, very happy with the finish. I love that. And I also brought this because the last time I forgot to bring it to show you, I love this as well. This is Sephora's. It's their airbrush. It's uh, called Perfection Mist airbrush foundation. I got it in the color Fawn and you shake it up. I spray it directly onto a brush and then I use the brush and once again it takes little product to give me complete and absolutely flawless coverage so I'm extremely happy with it. This is something that's definitely going to stay uh, in my my favorites and and be used quite a bit no doubt. The next thing I'm going to show you is my oh my god moment. Natalie the beauty diva said it a while ago. This Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow. Oh my god. Oh my god. It reminds me of something my son said a long time ago. I was looking to upgrade my phone at the time and I wasn't sure what to get. I was looking at all the options and I called my son who was far more techy than I was, still is. And I said to him, what would you do? And he said to me, well, he said, there's iPhone and then there's everything else. And for me, there is this wonderful little thing and there is everything else. Take a look at this. I don't know how well it's, again, it's translating on the screen, but this goes on with such a beautiful shimmery look that doesn't fall out. It's not all over me. I don't have glitter all over my face, but it's beautiful. I only bought two of them, but I fell so in love with it that I ordered two more. This is the Rose Gold Retro, and I know that Natalie had recommended that one. And I wore this one yesterday, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's called Kitten Karma. And it is, I'm not really good at opening packages, I've discovered. This one is this color. 
And again, it's just really, really pretty. Let me just swatch it for you. Oh my God, look at this thing. Is that to die for? Don't take too much of it if you use this, because if you do, you, I am told, you will have fallout. I may as well swatch the other color for you as well. Look at that. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This one, the retro rose, uh, rose gold retro, is the one that I'm wearing today. And I will swatch that one as well. So that one's a little bit darker. Can you, oh, there you go. Now you can see the difference in the colors. But I'm really, I'm so excited about these. This is absolutely incredible. So once again, Natalie, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, let me just get this off before it stays with me because this stuff stays. I put it on yesterday and it stayed with me until I took my makeup off late at night. So that was definitely there all day. Um, there was something else I wanted to talk to you about, and now it's totally gone. Oh, totally gone. Forget, oh, I know. I got, um, when I had ordered all those palettes from Crown Brush, and I love, it's interesting, I have three of the palettes, and I was going to say I love them all, and I do, to varying degrees. I'm in love with the Blizzard one. That's those light kind of spring and summer colors in my mind. I like the other one, which is more of a basic one. This is it. And I like that one too, but I don't get exactly the same amount of, there we go. I don't get exactly the same amount of um, coverage that I get with the other one. The payoff is good, but it's not quite as good as the other. But approximately the same time, I had ordered a few of the Morphe palettes and I didn't get them until just the other day. So when they arrived, I sort of was a little bit surprised because I almost had forgotten that I ordered them. It took a while to get. But what I liked about this one, <clears throat> excuse me, is the fact that it's an entire palette of matte. And you know how hard it is sometimes to find the matte shades? So I thought what I was planning to do today originally was to do a completely matte um, look and then to try out that little bit of glitter in the middle from the Stila um, Magnificent Metals. So what I used was this color and when I started to use it, I really felt as if I wasn't getting much. And I, again, I keep getting that feeling occasionally that I'm wearing the Emperor's New Clothes. Where, where is it? What's happening? I'm really naked. So, um, but it does work. You just have to work a little harder at it. You have to get a little bit more of it to get the same payoff. So I got this one, and then I got another one that surprised me with and again I paid very little for these because I got them when they were on sale on Hope Look. Okay this one is either metallics or satins or whatever and I used a little bit of this as well and I was really very pleased with it. I used it under my eye and I used a little bit of it in the corners of my eye so this, this is a good one as well. On these, I can only give you my initial impressions because it's too soon to know how it's gonna play out. That's how I feel about it this moment in time. I'll see how it wears through the day. But so far, I think it's going to be something that's good. Is it gonna be one of my favorites? I don't know yet. It's, it's definitely too soon to tell. Um, God, there was one more thing I wanted to say. There definitely is something to be said for uh, taking notes or writing yourself some notes. I want, did want to mention this one other Miraness uh, foundation. This is the Velvet Maxi Lift Supreme, and this one is really wonderful too. Again, it takes very little, and it goes a very long way. It's, this is a really full coverage. 
you're going to get absolutely full coverage with this without it looking cakey. It doesn't oxidize. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't create a lot of the problems that a lot of the other ones do. Uh, I'm down to the point now where I'm only using a few foundations, the ones that I know that I absolutely love. And that's it. I had told you once before that I had fallen in love with this product. Again, this was from Miraness, and I do love it. I love, I love it enough to actually have ordered it again. But when I ordered it again, this is what it looked like inside. It's a three-step, and it builds your lashes. And it's really good. I have no complaints about it. But I decided to also try... This was, uh, according to them, one of their award-winning products. And this is called Miraness Curl. And this mascara is on a curved wand. It applies really easily. It, uh, when I first put it on the very first time, I was not 100% sure of my feelings about it. Take a look at it. Now again, I've shown you before, I do not have wonderful lashes at this stage of my life. Considering the fact that I'm not doing the falsies, and Lord knows I probably should be, I really like this mascara a lot. This is one I will definitely be buying again. So that's all I have for you today. And... Um, just let me know if there's anything you want to know about, if there are any other products that you've ever seen me use in the past. I, I have to tell you, though, I'm, real, I'm very excited about my bags, or I don't want to say lack thereof, because Lord knows they're there, but they're so much better than they were. So all in all, I'm an extremely happy camper. I'm very pleased with the way everything is going, and I do definitely want to talk to you. I'm, actually, I'm also waiting for a wig to come in. This was a strange story. I had ordered the wig quite a while ago and waited and waited and waited. Ordered it from Wilshire Wigs. And then they told me that it was out of stock. And I said, how could you sell it if it was out of stock? I would assume you'd know whether you had something in stock, but oh well. So she asked me if I wanted to cancel the order or if I wanted to let it stand in case it came in. And I said, let it stand because it had been on sale and I figured it was worth taking a chance just in case it did come in. Well, I got notification the other day that it did come in. So presumably I should have it in the next couple of days and I will show it to you. But I have to tell you, after wearing wigs for a little bit, I think I'm not overall a wig gal. Much as I love them, I adore adore them on other people. Uh, when I wear a wig, most of the time, I feel phony when I walk out the door. And I had an interesting experience on the weekend because I was with some clients and there was a new client that I met who was seeing me in different hair and a different color. And then I was going to see him again on Monday and I thought, oh, what do I do? Because the real me is going to show up. So I had to tell him, and it felt a little bit stupid, but I'm going to still continue to play with it and see where I go. But I think by and large, for the most part, as with everything else in my world, what you see is what you get. So it is what it is. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. See you. And the stupid thing is not working again. Makes me feel really dumb when I sit here. And this doesn't want to work. Take care.